What's going on, guys? And welcome back to another episode of Ark the Center. Last we left off, we tamed this beautiful owl griffin over here. Oh, your eyes kind of glow in the dark. That's really cool. Hold on, let me remove the clouds real quick. Much better. All right, so we tamed this owl here whose eyes glow. You know what? I think I got the perfect name for you. Since you are an owl, you can have it sit down. Oh, that, that is adorable. That is absolutely adorable. Um, behavior? No, um, options, change name. Luna. You can be Luna. Luna, because you're gonna be our new... Our new owl griffin. Our new flyer. Okay, I can't move. I think... Yeah, I, gotta, I had to make it stand up. That's why it wouldn't move. Alright. Let's park you back over here. Before we do anything, let's show you what I did off camera. You might be seeing this foundation here. Well, that's because... I expanded the water pen. That's right. So now we should have plenty more space. Here. I've expanded the water pen so the, the whales here, the Dunkleosteus have more space, the Zephactinus have more space to swim around and to whatever. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I was I just had dinner, so that's why my voice isn't the greatest right now. But anyway, um yeah, I've expanded the base a little. Took me a little bit, but we did it. But in today's video, the main thing I want to do, remember that sea dragon we saw last episode? I want to tame it. It's a 180, and I was doing some thinking. We could use the Nothosaurus here because it's fast and agile. It only has like 50,000 health, though. I mean, I mean, you do have 38 levels. So 38, I think, divide that by whatever, that's 19. Let's put 19 points into health. And then we'll put the other 19 points into melee. We could easily use the Nothosaurus for this. But I was thinking, why don't we just use the Basilosaur? I mean, we never use this guy for anything. We could easily just do that. Oh, and the Shastasaurus is just outside the pen, just so you know. Because I couldn't really fit it in a way where the submarine would just be fine, because it would just be buried underground. So I had to leave it just outside. I could have expanded a little further, but but then that would have been too deep for the gate. So, <clears throat> all right, let's go ahead. We'll take the Basilosaur with us. And we'll have him fight off the jellyfish, because he's immune to jellyfish stings. And you should have, like, <clears throat> yeah, about 27,000 health. I don't think I've leveled you up. Yeah, I haven't leveled you up. I think you were the weight mutation. <clears throat> we'll have to see what's going on. Or should we take your parent? Maybe we should take your father into this. Because he's already leveled up. Nah, we'll be fine with the kid. We'll be fine. All right. So we're going to go in. I was going to use the Dinosuchus to fight the Sea Dragon. But I was afraid with the electric attacks it might dismount me off the croc. So we're not going to do that. And then after that, I'd like to go to the Icebergs again to tame that Ambulocetus. You know, the uh, the whale dog thing. Alright, so let me uh, <clears throat> get everything ready. Alright, let's go. Now I'm expecting a freeze when we get to here. I'm expecting that. I'm pretty much used to it. Yep, there it is. I'm pretty much used to it at this point. Alright, I haven't brought any um, darts because we, don't, we won't be needing them. <clears throat> so what we want to do is kill the jellyfish around it and then feed it to them. Do this ten times and then it will challenge me to a fight. Once he challenges us to a fight, we fight him, and then he'll drop an egg. At least that's what's supposed to go down. <clears throat> so, I think it does have to be positioned a certain way. I think it does have to be upside down in order for it to work. I'm not sure, though. Alright, this is where the Basilosaur comes in. I don't know why we haven't imprinted. 
Oh yeah, we also got an imprinted um, spider. This is our imprinted spider. From the uh, the two that we bred up. Just figured I'd show that off real quick. Alright. <clears throat> Let's get the Basilosaur out. Let's go into deep water. Deep enough where the Basilosaur can swim. Alright. Let's do this. Now, we want to kill them, but not harvest them. So what I might do, you're on attack target. I'm going to put you on... No, not passive flee. I'm going to put you on regular passive. Alright. So we need to do this without harvesting anything. Alright. We have to be careful about this. Luckily, we can one-shot these guys, so that's good. Alright, we should have a couple more in the area. Yeah, there it is. Let's just kill every single one of them in the area. Well, not in the area, but you know what I mean. Now we can drag this guy... All right, now we got to do this nine more times. And then we'll be able to do whatever. All right, there is a Zephactinus here. We may have to get rid of that. Let's get rid of that real quick. Uh, how are you not dead? Thank you for dying. All right, we got a couple more jellyfish swimming towards us. All right. You stay there, Basilosaur. We're halfway there. We're halfway there. This is good. Basilosaur, follow me a little bit. Stay close. All right, that's six. All right, stay right there. So I can easily just get on you once we do whatever. Of course there's a Megalodon after me. <sighs> Give me a second while I fight this guy. This is seven... We gotta do this three more times, I do believe. If we could find one more jellyfish, that'd be great. We only have two here. Alright, we need one more. One more jellyfish, and we'll be good to go. That's right, come over here. Or not. Right, we need to kill both of them, otherwise one will go after me and screw everything up. Alright, well, so what if you, uh... Alright, Basilosaur, stay close. That's it, buddy. Before I feed you this last one... Stay right there. And... It's happening, it's happening, it's happening. Oh, we can do this. Easy. This is easy. I think we did it. Alright, he's gonna retreat now. And then we just take this egg. And boom! We got it! We got the egg. It's a Glaucus egg. Now we just need to throw this in the terminal, and we'll be all set to go. We'll have... We'll have our very own sea dragon. So, I guess I'll see you guys back at base. Let me just eat up this, uh, biotoxin real quick. And yeah! That was relatively easy. We've got 54 levels. Let's get you to 100,000 health. All right. So I guess I'll see you guys back at base. Where we'll... We'll take a look at this dragon. Or hatch it up. And we'll see what we get from it. So that was relatively easy, I would say. There's another Maelania here. That's a 15. All right. So that's part one pretty much done. We'll uh, hatch that up, and then we'll see what happens. I think it does have to hatch in the water. I do believe. All right, and we're back at base. So we're going to go ahead and uh, 
run over to here. Actually, let's put the the newly imprinted spider away. We'll put this guy away. Um, I did some off-camera breeding, and I managed to get a Rex with four health mutations and a Vectospinus with one health mutation and two melee mutations. So, we got that. And don't worry, we'll do some more breeding after the end of this video. We'll just let them breed up. And in the meantime, let's take a look at our... Hatch up our sea dragon. I'm pretty sure it's turned on. Do I have any of those things in there? Yeah, I do. Okay, good. Alright. Basilosaur. Great job, buddy. Alright, you can just lay here for a bit. Have some food. I, I didn't expect that to be that easy. This could be our new go-to swimmer and whatever. Because I heard it was really good. We'll have to test it out. In the meantime, let's get the saddle for it. I think we've got to learn it. I think it's the Glacka saddle. Yep, there we go. That seems pretty easy. Not gonna lie. All right, let's rush upstairs. All right. Now, with this, don't drop it on land. Don't drop it on land. That will that will instantly kill it. So I'm gonna drop it here. There we go. Alright, let's see what kind of stats we got with this guy. Ah, uh, hello? Oh, no. I didn't put it in deep enough, did I? Crap. Crap, I... I don't think I put it in deep. Unless it's in another terminal. That could be the case. It's not in that terminal. Don't tell me I just hatched that guy and did all that for no reason. It wouldn't be in these terminals, would it? Unless there's another terminal nearby. It's not in this terminal. Oh, it's still here! Oh. <laughs> Silly me. Silly me. It was too far from the terminal. <laughs> Alright. Let's, uh, let's check what stats we've got. 34 points into health. Is that? No, that's 12,000 health. 42 into stamina. No oxygen. Food, no one cares. Um, 29 weight. That seems pretty terrible. And 41 melee. Alright. Seems relatively decent, I would say. Glad I didn't accidentally, you know, kill this guy. That would have been bad. Super bad. So yeah, this is the aquatic pen. Looking cool. We got the whale chilling here. We've got the Moza. The Moza's here. Um, I'm guessing a Megalodon attacked the Shastasaurus. That's probably why. Wait, are you? why are you on attack by... I put you on passive. Go on passive. You don't need to be fighting the Shastasaurus' battles. He's a grown-ass dolphin. He can take care of himself. Ooh, I did not like that. The Mosasaurus jumping out of the water like that. I mean, that would be cool. I still need to make a saddle for Precious. Don't know how I'm going to do that, but I still need to make a saddle for you. Does that reset you? Like, are you on attack my target again? No, you're still on passive. Alright, I don't know what's going on there. But anyway, um... Should I make a saddle for the Liviadon? Let me see. Let's let's see what it takes for the Liviadon saddle. Crafting station, Liviadon. Let's just learn everything. If we can, that is. Default saddle, okay. I don't think we're ready for the, uh, the siege saddle. Moros, Liviadon, crafting bench. Is it this? We got the Alpha Summoner Horn. That must be it. I think that's a tech item. I think I do have to defeat the bosses for that to happen. Or maybe defeat the Alpha. You know what? Let's see if we can get that default saddle going. Because I would like to test out our Liviadon. I would like to test that out. Alright, so... 
The saddle shouldn't be too hard to make. The default saddle doesn't seem that expensive. Let's see, Liviadin, can we craft it by hand? That's the question. No, I think we do have to craft it in the smithy. Livy... No, wait, I'm, I'm typing it in my inventory. What am I doing? Liviatin. No? Where do we craft the saddle? Hold on. Give me a second. Liviatin default saddle. Where do we craft the default saddle? The Moral Livy's crafting bench. Let's look it up. Crafting bench. What do they mean by that? Is it this? Is it this? I'm confused. Eh, we'll, we'll worry about that some other time. We'll worry about the whale some other time. The... Our sea dragon thing should be fully grown by now. Yep, fully grown and ready to go. Alright. Oh, you just floated to the surface, alright. Oh yeah, we need the saddle. Let's put the saddle on top of you. Alright, we're, we were just upside down for whatever reason. Alright, this is our sea dragon. The Glacus thing. Alright, there's the Shastasaurus greeting us. Hello, how you doing? Maybe it's better if you... You know, let me back you up a little bit. I watched the, um, the Axeman's video on the Shastasaurus. Apparently you could put a bed in there, which is fine. But you can't put storage units in there. In here. Which is kind of bullcrap, if you ask me. This is supposed to be a submarine, is it not? Why would you not be able to, you know, put a storage unit in? Uh, you know what? Whatever. It's whatever. We'll worry about that another time. So I hear with this guy. Alright, can't go to the surface. That's kind of an issue. Oh, hello. Not the source. Alright, let's see what you're capable of. Let's see. Um, I think this guy does rely on biotoxin. 600 melee. Right off the bat. Oh, God. Yeah, that dehydration thing. You don't want to put this thing on land, otherwise it'll dry up. It can go on land, but not for long. Yeah, so you're better off just leaving this guy in the water. So 600 damage right off the bat. That's pretty crazy. We could see if we could find some jellyfish. And, like, take a look and see if we can get some biotoxin. Do I have any biotoxin in my inventory? No, I don't. So it looks like I'm going to have to find some jellyfish if I can. Alright, so factinus might be a bad idea. Enable electric bubble. Left control and left click. Or control and left click. Interesting, okay. Alright, here's a jellyfish. I can't believe we do 600 damage right off the bat. That's crazy. Let me put on the mask so I can see a bit better. There we go. We should be good. All right, Dunkelostius has armor, so I don't think we should use that. All right, we got some plesiosaurs. Let's kill some plesiosaurs. Well, do we do torpor? I think we do torpor. When oh, when they attack us, we do torpor. Okay, I think I think that's that's good. When it attacks us, we do talk onto it. All right, this guy really good, really good. Actually, this guy would have been nice to have early on. Okay, can you stop moving so I can kill you? Thank you. Alright, we got 50 levels. Let's see if we heal relatively fast. Uh, did we not get biotoxin? I guess we didn't get biotoxin from killing those... Unless he ate the biotoxin. He must have ate the biotoxin. 
Hmm. Huh. Good to know. Alright, eel. You guys came relatively easy with uh, biotoxin. Good to know. Hey, come back here, you. I ain't through with you. There we go. You know what? I like this guy. He's really good. I like him. A uh, game. Game. Thank you. Sucks that we didn't get him early on, but you know what? Sea Dragon? I think that's a win. So that's the Sea Dragon done. I'm trying to think of some names for this guy. Hello, Basilosaur, level 90. Shame I've already got, like, my Basilosaurs ready to go. Alright, Shastasaur, you can stay here. You know what? I'm going to put you on neutral. Alright, you're on passive. I'm going to put you on neutral so you can at least fight back. Because I don't want you dying to Megalodons. I mean, you got 300,000 health. You should be fine, but... Still. You know? Alright, this guy is actually really good. Like, we can leave him a little bit on the closer side. Just don't leave him on land too close. As long as he has water and access to water, we should be golden. Alright, let's level him up a bit. We've got 55 levels. Let's get you up to 100,000. Maybe get your weight up to 1,000. Because I need you to be like my swimmer mount. Maybe 2,000 stamina and then just put the rest in the melee. Alright, you should be good. Alright, we're good to go. That's, um, thing number one I wanted to tame. The Glacus. And that's really the main thing I wanted to tame. But now, let's switch back to the regular glasses. I want to go into the, the, um, the snow biome again. And tame that Ambulocetus. Oh, we should have food. We're out of food. Of course we are. Alright, well, you know what? That's fine. Mufasa, you should have plenty of food on you. No, okay, alright. Cool, cool. I just don't want my tames going hungry. Speaking of which, you're very hungry. Alright, we should have food for days. Do you just get super hungry when you're... Eat up. I probably just uh, left you on with no food anywhere. Yeah, I should probably uh, feed my creatures a bit more. Uh, Alright, you're not hungry. Alright, you know what? Let's, uh... Let's go ahead and Mufasa. Let's ride you real quick. Actually, we don't need the gecko anymore. Because we'll be using the, uh... We'll be using the mixture of the griffin and the, the pyromane. So we should be good to go. Alright, I don't want you starving to death. So we're obviously gonna have to get some food. The Giga's a lot quicker than the Diamantinosaur, so we'll use you. We'll use Ghost to get as much food as possible. Now if we come across a high level female Giga, then we will tame it. But at the moment I'm just trying to, you know, get everything done in time for Aberration. Hopefully in time for Aberration. Oh, uh, you gonna attack me, really? I'm, I'm slot capped. Uh, we don't need all this prime. So we can go ahead and drop that. Just use regular. There we go. Otherwise, we will get slot capped. Let's go ahead and throw this meat in here. Raw meat. Right, hopefully you eat up. Alright, you're good to go. I just didn't want you to die or anything. Alright, let's go ahead and get my shocking trank darts. And kibble. We can't forget the kibble. I'll bring about 20. So yeah, we're definitely a lot faster than the RG. We've got a Diamantinosaur here that's level 25. Let's go into the snow biome, go to the iceberg. Because we, we went on there with no problem last time without the game crashing. So we'll head over there. I think there was like a, a 140, I think. I'm not 100% sure. Also, if we could find a female Spino, that'd be great as well. I also want to see what else is new. Like with the Majungasaurus and the Sukamimus. 
and the Antrodemus. I just added that in. That's a more recent one from Tristan, I believe it is. The Tristan's the mod developer behind the Eocarcaria and the Vectospinus. Spinos like to spawn here as well. I did realize. Like, there's a Spino right here. That's a 140 male. I'm pretty sure the one we have is a male. Let me just take a look, just in case. Spino. Yep, it's a male. All right. A 135. Oh, look, it's the Spinos attacking the Ambulocetus. Hopefully the 140's not on that iceberg. Don't tell me the Spino just killed that 140. Oh, we just killed the 140. Damn it! Will you stop moving so I can kill you? And you just healed from eating that e Ambulocetus. Yeah, die. What level is this guy? 85. I know you're not to blame for this, but I'm taking my anchor out. You are a beautiful Spino, though. Alright, we got Ambulocetus. You're a level 90. We got two level 90s and a level 50. Hmm. Do you think we can do better than that? Damn, that 140 would have been perfect. Damn it. We had to kill it while trying to fend, it up, fend off that Spino. No, 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 no. Griffin, you stay there. Actually, I can shoot off the back of you, can't I? Couldn't I? Alright. Alright, this level 90 will have to do, because... Ah, we killed the 140 by accident. There's another Spino there. That's a 50 male. I mean, we could try to tame up. What are you doing? I said... PASSIVE! Stop eating things! You didn't hit the guy by accident, did you? I brought the kibble, right? Yeah, I did. You should probably just take just the one. Yep, just the one. Alright. Alright, you should be at 100% taming effectiveness. You'll be fine. Alright. We got a 47 more levels. Damn. Alright, let's go ahead and level you up a bit. Maybe get you up to, say, 50k health. I feel comfortable with 50,000. Maybe get you up to 1,500 weight. And then just put the rest in the melee. I just do everything without even thinking, you know? I'm gonna kill this 50 Spino. Make a more Spinos to spawn in. Alright, now we're doing a thousand damage. Stop moving so I can kill you. Thank you. And there we have it. Ambulocetus has been tamed. Alright, we'll look at its... We'll have a quick look at its stats while we're here. Because I kind of want to kill that quick Spino. Let's see what kind of stats he got. Now, keep in mind, this is a level 90, so it's not going to have the greatest stats. Saying that, it does have 40 points into weight, which is really good for a 90. 25 points into melee, 29 into food, 21 into stamina, 19 into health. Yeah, I wasn't expecting anything great since it's only a level 90. All right, I guess now we could just head back home and then we'll think about what we're going to do for next episode. We'll test out the Ambulocetus, see if it's any good. That's a beautiful RG. That's a 145 female. Um, should we tame a quick female RG? It's beautiful, actually. Really beautiful. I might lose it otherwise. Right, you know what? Follow me up here. Follow me up here. We'll tame this quick RG, and then we'll just, uh, and we'll just end the episode with some breathing, and then we'll be good to go. One dart, and it's down. How awesome is that? Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish this series in time, because there's a lot more I want to do for, um, aberrations. So what I might do is start an aberration series, but just alternate between the two. That's what I might do. Yeah, that's what I'll do. And then next episode, we're going to go ahead and see if we can maybe either tame up a Sukamimus or a Majungasaurus. One of the two. I'd love to see what they're all about. So yeah, that's what we'll do. 
and we are officially back at base. So let's go ahead and take a look at our finds. So where's our male RG? We'll have you side by side with the female RG. Okay, so the male RG we tamed initially had 31 points into health, 39 into stamina, oxygen, food, no one cares, 32 into weight, and 36 into melee. The female has 32 into health, 35 into stamina, oxygen, food, no one cares, 42 into weight, and 33 into melee. So, apart from health, the male is actually better. There we go. So now we should have, now we have a breeding pair of Argentavis. We got a red male and a blue female. All right, let's, um, let's test out our new Ambulacetus. I believe we do need a saddle to ride this guy, so let's go ahead and switch Mufasa over. Oh, we still got food. I was going to say, don't tell me we ran out of food already. And now you're full. Good. I'm happy that you're full. All right, let's put the kibble away. All right, let's go ahead and uh, test this guy out. So I'm not expecting anything from it. So this is our green one that we got. Kind of looks a little derpy, but you know what? It's fine. All right, let's ride you. Well, you kind of make the Capro footstep noises. We're overheating. That's fine. What kind of damage do we do? 338. Oh, sorry. 388. That's not bad at all. That is not bad at all. For a, Now, keep in mind, this is a level 90. That's really good. Actually, this guy's pretty good, actually. Pego, can we not? You know, how, how good are we at swimming? Wait, can we shoot off the back? We can. That's always lovely. Always convenient. We got some protoceratops. We got a level 100 and a 25. All right. Let's see how good we are in the water. Actually, we're not bad in the water. Not bad at all. All right. Can we eat this fish? We're not the Indominus Rex. We don't kill for sport. You know what? That's a 135 Pelican. You know what? We're pretty fast swimmers. Not bad, actually. Not bad at all. Not the fastest, but we are, you know, something anyway. We got 28 levels. Let's level up into health a little bit. Get that up to 10k. Get this up to 1,000, maybe 2,000 stamina, and then put the rest into melee. Now we do 100 or 1,670 damage now. That's really good. That's really good. That's way better than before. We're actually really good, actually. I wasn't expecting anything from this guy. That was a max level Moss Chops that we killed. You know what? I'm glad we got him. He's really good. We might have to try and get a higher level, like a 140 or something. Let's go ahead and um, place you in the, the pen. You know what? You might be a little too big. Wait, I've got a gate. I've got a gate. I can easily go around. I'm a dumbass. We can go this way and swim over to the to the gate and whatever. All right, let's go ahead and put you in here with the others. And I believe this guy can sit down. He'll park you here. That's good. Yeah, yeah, you can sit down. That is so cool. And then I can pat you, and that gives you XP. That's awesome. All right, sit back down. 
Alright, you can just chill there. You can just chill there for the time being. Alright. Last thing on the agenda. More breeding, of course. We'll check on the Argies. We got the Dinosuchus as well. We'll check on those. Alright, we need a 232 for a mutated one. Two thirty-two. We do have a couple of them. Alright, let's see what we got. Stamina. Melee. Okay, that could be good. That could be good. Food. Food. Stamina. And stamina. Alright, so we got a melee mutation from the... From the Dinosuchus. So let's go ahead and, I guess... Wait, do we have any 234s? Like, double mutation? No. We could get double mutations. Alright. Let's see. Argentinus. We only got two so far. We'll let them breed up a bit more. Let's move on to the Vectospinus. So what do we need for these guys? We need a 215. Let's hash these up. Or a 217. 215. They're both female, though. How bad is it? Alright. Stamina? That's not too bad. And this one is also stamina. What about 217? Nope. Okay. They are both female, though. So we're gonna go ahead and kill those. Let's see. Rex. Now we need a 250, at least, for these guys. Two fifty. It is a female, though. Ah, and it's a food mutation. What about two fifty-two? No. Okay. Let's kill them. All right. So we didn't miss out on much. Let's just hatch up the two RGs to be on the safe side. Thirty-two, thirty-six, thirty-two, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-six. I'm pretty sure we kept the stats. You know what? That's perfect. That's perfect. All right. So for the so for the Dinosuchus, we did end up getting a a male mutation, which is good. So we'll put that in there once it's fully grown, of course. That'll be our breeding Dinosuchus. Well, we did a lot today. We managed to tame that sea dragon. We tamed an Ambulocetus, even though it's not the highest level. And we managed to get a Sarko, or a Dinosuchus, that's a melee mutation. But yeah, that's going to have to wrap it up for this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. And by the way, this sunset is kind of a vibe. Just saying. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.